Hi everybody, I'm Greg Golgowski with Harmony's Conservation Program and I'm here at Five Oaks Drive at the edge of Harmony Square. It's pretty quiet right now. But a couple of weekends ago, Harmony Square was a different place with the annual Dark Sky Festival. This was the 10th year that we've been doing this festival and it was the biggest yet. We had well over 7,000 people came in. They, they just streamed into the parking area for a couple hours and all headed for Harmony Square. And under the street lights of the square, there were vendors of all kinds with food and, and things to sell, uh, an exciting place. The Seminole State College Planetarium set up a stage and went all night long with presentations on the stars and galaxies and and space. It was that was really good. And around the square, you could meet characters like R two D two. Now that was kind of dark. So let's let's stop for a minute and take a look and see R two and and the girls in a better light. This display showed some of the things you see from telescopes, and this father and son were explaining the, the big clap theory, I guess. The high school robotics clubs showed their equipment and this dancing robot. But the great thing for a lot of folks was just looking through telescopes. These were provided by area amateur astronomers. There must have been 30 or 40 telescopes set up. And you could see stars and planets and galaxies far, far away. Festivals like Dark Sky are important to allow the community to come together in a relaxed way. The community both inside and outside of Harmony. And in the case of the Dark Sky Festival, it also allows us to call attention to the importance of protecting the night sky and the ways that a community can do that. Harmony Square is perfect for this kind of thing, and it makes it one of our favorite places at Harmony. Thank you.